Now, the longest scarf in British television, would you welcome back Tom Baker? <laughs> Welcome back. We haven't seen you for all of 12 months, I suppose it is. That's right, yes, exactly, yeah. yeah. And, and you're still filming Doctor Who? Yes. Yes. It's amazing, isn't it? The show's been going, what, about 15 years now? Yeah. It's a bit more than that, 17 yeah. years, yeah. How long have you been Doctor Who? This is the fifth season. Do you ever wish that Doctor Who would get caught by the aliens and uh, <laughs> you could get on with something else? Well, yes, sometimes I do. If the aliens were interesting enough, yes. Uh, I quite enjoy being caught by interesting people, and that way I'm just like everybody here. <laughs> All right. Well, here, here's Tom in action as Doctor Who. Not me, you fool! Vision impaired! Vision impaired! Malfunction! Not a visual control! Malfunction! 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 Loss of control! Loss of control! Loss of control! My hat. Keep away. Keep back. But I've, um, I wonder, as an actor, do you often feel secondary to the special effects? Well, I don't. Uh, no, I don't. I often feel that one is threatened by special effects. I think that's particularly so in, uh, in films, yeah. where they, the special effects actually take precedence over the characterization, which I don't think is the right way around. No, it makes it all very mechanical, yes, doesn't it? I mean, you might do a bad take from a performance point of view, but they're more worried about whether the special right, effect yeah. worked. Or I not. think it's the people who are interesting, really, and in, uh, in the situ in the conflict that goes on, and not the big bangs. I mean, the big bangs should just underpin it like that. Yeah, but I not think. take over the story. Oh no, you, you do get a chance to do other work, though, don't you? I mean, you you, made, you, you do consistently make movies. Well, yes, I, I don't make the sort of very often the international movies that you would hear of over here, but I do work in movies and, and other things in television. I mean, I've just come back from Africa, where I've been working on a, an American melodrama called The Curse of Tutankhamun, which is all about the opening of that tomb in 1922. Um, and that was fun to do, playing a villain with Raymond... I was playing Raymond Burr's sidekick. Oh, what's he like? Immense. Is he? I thought he was a big man. He really is huge, is he? a huge man, yes. And not just big that way. I mean, he's a big... It was very interesting being in hotel lobbies with him because the Americans couldn't believe their eyes that he was actually not only he was so big, but he could actually walk. Because, of course, I think they actually do assume that he goes around in a wheelchair the whole time. Oh, right. <laughs> he, he, he doesn't. <laughs> There's a, another performer you work with, uh, Maria uh, Schneider. Mm. And she was the lady who made Butter famous in uh, Last Tango in Paris. Uh, another way of putting it, really, is there? When, when did you work with her? Was it before that movie? It was just before that movie, yes. Uh, I worked on an Italian picture called Dear Parents uh, for Carlo Ponzi, I think. And she's an astonishing lady. I think that what was uh, surprising about Maria Schneider, it's so easy to fall into anecdotes and say someone like Raymond Burr is huge or whatever. Yeah. But Maria Schneider, I thought, was extraordinary in the sense that she seemed, uh, she's a very sensuous girl, and seems utterly indifferent to what's going on. Utterly indifferent. And there's something rather compelling and uh, anxious making about people who are totally indifferent. So that if she had a big car to go to work in, she got in that. And if there was no car, well, she'd walk down to the set or get on a motorbike. And if it was raining, it was raining. She'd say, have you got a cigarette? And you say, no, I haven't got a cigarette. I don't smoke. I'll go and get you. No, she said, it's all right. You've had your chance. It was just she didn't seem to care what happened, whether it was good or bad. Oh, she was the right lady for that film then, wasn't she? Yes. It was very much like her. Yes. Yeah. Impressive lady. Yeah. Tom, you're, uh, you're out here for the second time in 12 months. When are you going back to Britain? I've got to start filming on the 20th of March in Brighton. Back to Doctor Who? Yes. Yeah. Till the end of the year. Um, well, that's my contract at the end of the year. <laughs> and then they'll have to negotiate. <laughs> right, lovely seeing you again. Would you thank Tom Baker for being with us today? <laughs> Dr. Hill himself. <laughs>